Where have the children gone? Three boys aged between seven to 10 years kidnapped a two-year-old boy, tied his hands behind his back and took him to a location not too far from the primary places of residence. A vigilant member of the community found something amiss as he made his way back home and decided to interrogate the boys further when he discovered the two-year-old victim. A father got a call while he was at work from the school where his two daughters go to. His attention was wanted immediately. He was met by the teacher of his oldest daughter that is 10 years old. The teacher, while flipping through the journal each child was asked to keep as part of their creative writing exercise, read the following sentence. I can't wait till the scene will enter my plan. The distressed father investigated the trajectory of this sad event and discovered that during the Christmas of 2021, when his 12-year-old niece and 10-year-old nephew came on holiday, they had an internet-enabled device and gathered the children, which included children of his other siblings, numbering four, to watch pornography. This they did consistently for the duration of the break. The investigation continued down the line where it was discovered that the housemaid of the visiting relatives had introduced the children to porn. A 14-year-old was employed in Ogun State as a housemaid in November 2021. By December, she had abducted one of the two children of her madame that had, left her in, had been left in her care during Sunday service as the businesswoman left church to attend a, to a customer. Fast forward a few weeks later, somewhere on the streets of Owen, a good Samaritan noticed a young girl begging with her sickly brother and decided to take them in and nurse him back to health. Once he got better, the young girl insisted on taking the boy to Imo State single-handedly. This raised the suspicion of the Good Samaritan, who immediately reported it to the police. It was discovered that she was begging to raise money so she could transport her and her victim to Imo State. In a viral video, a little girl presumed to be a three-year-old could be seen drinking a bottle of Star Radler beer beside a woman believed to be his mother, who was visibly seen dancing to music playing in the background. Rocking a 30 BG gang necklace, the little boy drank with reckless abandon while also dancing to the music playing in the background. So I ask again, where have the children gone? Over to Ruth. Let me, Ruth, let's take your comments first. <laughs> <laughs> It's so disheartening as you mm -hmm. listening to all this that you read um, because it's just so funny. Our society is the way it is today. It just shows that there's something missing. And which just ties back to what Kyrie mentioned. There's something missing. We are not getting it right in our homes. Parenting has gone wrong. I think if we're going to question the children, we need to question parents. Um, every of this child you've mentioned come from a home. So is either the parents have um, been more lenient than they should, or they've probably been too busy to take notes of their children. Now, I, I, I really don't want to place blames because in today's world, everybody's trying to at least... Place um, blame. Place blame. Please do, right? Please do. 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 Everybody's That's trying to, speed, yeah, yeah. Everyone is trying to at least make ends meet, and so there's always that excuse of, oh, I need to at least feed, and so who's going to? I don't, I don't really need to take care of my children, but I feel like taking care of children is beyond providing for them financially. You need to take care of them emotionally, mentally, spiritually. You're responsible for another yeah. adult, so if you were never going to mm. take that full responsibility, then you I shouldn't even the have even started in the first place. Having being known as, oh, I'm a mother of this, I'm a father of this, is not, it shouldn't, shouldn't, that shouldn't That's be the, the driving. Priority. Yeah, that shouldn't be the priority. You should, or I'm a grandmother, because sometimes it's usually grandparents that force, forces people to go and have kids. But, you know, it shouldn't be the priority. The question is, if I'm bringing a child to this world, can I really take care of this child? Aside from financial, meeting their financial needs. So, do I have the mental capacity to handle the child? Can I mm. properly discipline them? You know, I mean, I had an I had an experience one day 
in a store. This was like years ago. So I was in a bookstore somewhere in VI and um, a little girl walked in with her mother. So um, we were all buying books and all. The little girl, first of all, I already knew that this little girl was badly behaved. So she, first of all, wanted to get a marker, colored marker. And the mother was like, why do you need this colored marker? And so she was, she threw tantrums, she was crying. Because mother was like, you, she gets barely two years old. You don't need this colored marker. She, was, she cried, cried, cried. The mother went ahead and bought it. And then as the mother was paying for it, she went again and picked something else. A something that she shouldn't even have. She shouldn't be using it in the first place. I can't remember exactly what it is. And the mother was then shouting at the attendant that you should answer, answer me very fast. Answer me very fast. Can't you see that she's speaking other things? Then it dawned on me that this woman has lost it. Like, you should be questioning your daughter. <laughs> Uh, and not the, and not the attendant. So it just it just goes a long way to tell us how bad parenting has gone these days. You, you, know, you, you know, for me, right, when, when it comes to parenting, I, I remember when we were young, I, I was telling someone recently, I said, unfortunately for me, I've never grown up. Mm -hmm. I've been that child my mother raised. There are limits I was given when I was younger. Up till now, it's like a goat that was tied down. You remove the light leash and the goat is just there looking. Mm. I'm just there. I just maintain that same structure. You see, when it comes to parenting, the parent has the first priority of being a parent. Mm. I always tell people, just like doctors, you don't become a parent, a husband or a wife, because you, you have a child or because you are married. You must become that a parent before you get married. Yes. Now, it doesn't happen to everybody, but I remember when we were younger, once you give birth, the family that knows you need help will rally around you to mm. support you and give that child the kind of training that they need. Unfortunately, our society now, I don't know if it's because of witchcraft or <laughs> modernization. Oh, yes, because we blame everything. Right? <laughs> if it's witchcraft or modernization, we don't allow parents get close to the family anymore. We don't allow uh, friend, uh, what's it called, relatives come close. So we are, we are in this contraption where they're just looking for a way to take care of that child while looking for a way to make money and survive. Then again, I also believe that while it is important to have a career path, have a dream, mm. as parents, you must understand that, okay, in life, life is a process. Yeah. You want to give your child the best. You have to decide that, okay, one of you, if you know, for example, two bankers, one of you yes. might decide to step down for the next five or six years. Yes. Do get yes. busy doing some other things. You may not have the billions that you want. Save that amount. And I'm not saying, don't look at me well, like that's that. That's not always an option. I didn't say the wife. I just no, said no, one I of know, you. I know, but I'm saying that it's yeah. not always an option that one actually gets to take the back seat. Especially when you think of if you're living in a place like Lagos where no, but, there's so many bills, it may not be no, it, an it, option. It, it, it might not be the most, uh, the first option, but it is an option. You know why? Because when one person is working, what that would do to you is that it cuts down probably your class. Probably you can't have all the luxury you want to have because you need to manage. But you know, that's part of parenting. You need to sacrifice that, okay, I'm dedicating five years or six years to train maybe the two kids I want to have. Mm. And after that training, I'll go back to work. Then we can have the kind of life that we want. You're you are in your 30s or 20s or 40s. God willing, you live till 70 or 80. You have 30 years ahead. So just and sacrifice that. I should jump in, jump right? In, right? <laughs> okay, so I think that for me, I think the point is we're basing all these premises on the fact that, oh, maybe the parents are not available, available or they're not on ground. Look at that child. Mm. The mom was there. Well, do you understand? Mm -hmm. So that's not, that has nothing to do with the parent not being there. I think... Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigerians, we've just lost our moral compass. Mm. Yes. We don't seem yeah. to know yeah. the difference between right and wrong. And wrong. And wrong. Yes. So I'm telling you, this parent, because I, I think I saw that video. Mm. The mom was there dancing. I think I saw people spraying. I'm thinking, this people must be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's child. happening here? The child has no sense. This child has learned these things. From this home. child, this is a learned behavior. Yes. And oh, yeah. the child yeah. learned it from the parents. So I think yeah. 
th that's it. The same thing that spilled into the entire society. Mm. And we all know this starts from home. Can you imagine the kind of adult that child is going to, to be? be? Not because he, he couldn't be better, but because he doesn't know better. This is yeah. all he knows. This is what he's, he's like a child to. soldier. This is what the parents thought. And, that's you it. know, it just breaks my heart. So when I was saying to you, oh, um, it may not be an option. I was a stay-at-home mom. I have four kids. And mm. my first... my. Older ones, they're much older than my younger one. There's like a 12-year gap between okay. the, la the first three and the last, and the last one. So I know what it is to be a stay-at-home mm. mom and make all the sacrifices. And my heart just breaks when I look at this parent. I don't think anyone wants to be a parent. I don't think any Nigerian <laughs> wants to be responsible for another person, not uh, to talk of a child. Nobody mm. wants to be responsible. Everybody just wants to. It's just a me mentality. Everybody is interested it. in yeah themselves and the children now. have just become appendages so we marry so that we can say oh i'm a mrs something and you have a child so that you can say i'm a mommy something mm. but nobody really cares and that's that's what i really see we yeah. don't care and, anymore and really well said you ended it very well and i wanted to say that that's the next topic we should be discussing how society insists that everyone, as long as you get married, must have kids. Yeah. We need to come, people need to be allowed to take those decisions based on their reality and who yeah, they absolutely. are. Mm. I can only have the mental space for one child, and I have stuck to one child. I don't care what my mother says, the grandparents say, I don't care what he says. It's one child because I know my <laughs> Some people are probably praying for you, you know that, right? Some people are probably claiming that you will have more and that you don't have more because you're unable to. And so, and so we need to honestly take this thing serious. Where have the children um, gone? Adirale is next after the break. Stay with us.